It used to be that engineers could learn about business and management in practice. Engineers from this university would go into practice after their masters and then started learning about business and management. This career trajectory still holds, but in addition, we now see a new type of engineers. This is a group who aims to combine engineering with business and management knowledge in the early phases of their careers and studies. And that is where the Management of Technology program comes in. Welcome, my name is Robert Furberg and I'm the director of studies of this exciting master program. We usually refer to this program as MOT and together with two of my students, we'll provide some useful information for the ones who consider to start with the MOT master program. First, I'll provide some basic information about MOT, but then I will give my students the opportunity to provide you with their perspective on studying MOT at Delft University of Technology. In the MOT program, we aim to teach students with a bachelor degree in engineering all of the relevant aspects in relation to technology and innovation management. This implies that we are looking for students who come from a monodisciplinary engineering bachelor. People that are strongly rooted in technology and with a strong interest in business and management issues, but do not yet know much about it since they were occupied in their bachelor with learning a technical discipline. We teach our students to become technology managers, innovation managers and analysts of technological markets. MOT graduates work either as scientists or consultants, but also as entrepreneurs or project managers in technology-based, internationally oriented, competitive business environments. And therefore, it's important to combine a strong engineering background with business and management knowledge. The engineering background should be covered in a preceding bachelor degree, and then we offer our students the opportunity to add business and innovation management knowledge to their background. The MOT program is a two-year program. The first year is structured around four key aspects or themes in relation to technology and innovation management. These themes are engineering economics, commercialization, organization and research and reflection. First, our students need to learn the language of business such as economics and finance and then we teach them how technology firms are structured, organized and changed. We also teach how ideas transform into technology-based products and services and how to deal with people, risks and corporate responsibilities. In the second year, our students are supposed to specialize and to take some electives before they embark in the final master thesis project. This is usually a study that they do through an internship at a company in their final half year. Therefore, the curriculum also prepares the students how to study the various aspects of technology and innovation through a number of scientific methods courses. Some of our students will take the opportunity to study abroad in the second year with one of our worldwide partner institutes. Our students come from different technology domains. Therefore, the program also offers students the opportunity to learn from other disciplines. From the start, MOT has also been an international program of which at least 50% of our students comes from abroad. The diversity in both technical background and national culture offers students of MOT the opportunity to experience several aspects of technology and innovation management within an international context. Well, let me introduce you to our students. First, let me introduce you to Julia Lam. She's an American studying in our MOT program and she's in her second year and works currently on her master thesis uh, as an intern at a technology hub of an international bank. Julia, could you tell a bit about your background? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so I had a nonlinear and less uh, uh, traditional career trajectory. Uh, to start, I was born and raised in Boston, and I was uh, studying chemistry and pre-medicine, actually. And I was originally planning on applying to medical school, but given that my college was quite strict with the credits and courses that are required for med school acceptance, I was not able to study abroad like I wanted to. 
And I knew that gaining an international lens and cultural immersion really added value to my education and personal as well as professional outlook. Okay, but so what brought you to Delft? Yeah, so before um, I decided to do my master's at Delft University of Technology, I had basically two pivotal points in my career. Firstly, I lived in South Korea for over a year, and it really changed my perspective of technology and its role in society. Um, secondly, I worked for a venture capital firm in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and they were a well-established firm that really broadened my view on the role of technology in multiple sectors. So that's when I realized that technology could satisfy my diverse interests and passions for learning across different industries, not just medicine. All right, and then it was that you decided to come to Delft? Yeah, it was a hard decision, but while working in venture capital, I was debating whether to go to med school or apply for an MBA, and both seemed so narrowly focused. However, I saw a unique opportunity to position myself as a decision maker with a technical background compared to business professionals and economics sitting at the big table. Um, furthermore, I think my global interest from traveling made me realize that I really needed a multidisciplinary education that would broaden my career prospects. I also wanted to take the opportunity to set myself apart from my other colleagues who took a traditional MBA, MBA route as well. And I believe MOT was the right decision since it allowed me to learn about the business aspects of innovation that is useful in many sectors, but is also uh, internationally focused so that I can learn from others as well. Okay, well, thank you, Julia, uh, for, for, for sharing your background. Uh, let me introduce you one of our other students, Tondan Ave. He's one of our Dutch students, and he's currently doing his specialization and elective courses at Kaio University in Japan. Don't know. Could you tell a bit about your background and why you decided to study MOT? Yeah, sure. Well, during the final year of my bachelor's program in mechanical engineering, I started to really think about what my strengths are and what I enjoyed most. I knew I had a wide range of interests and a bird's eye view of things was more interesting to me than being zoomed in and focused on one thing only. Now, I wanted something multidisciplinary to keep it interesting and fresh. So that's why you decided for MOT? Yeah, I felt that it was exactly what MOT offers. What I've noticed about myself, especially in the last project for my bachelor's program, is that I enjoy the decision-making process more than performing the actual calculations. Mm -hmm. Being able to effectively structure a project and putting the focus in the right spots is very satisfying when you get it right. I've also had some entrepreneurial experience in starting a small company with my brother and running it for the past five years. It was in food, so it's something completely different, but I, I like the business side of things and I wanted to learn more about it. The international opportunities also attracted me, both in the number of overseas students as well as the possibility to, to go abroad for a semester. I felt that the MOT program was the perfect fit for me. It played to my strengths and interests and allowed me to combine my mechanical engineering knowledge with my business experience. Uh, I haven't regretted it so far, and I think it's a great addition to my technical background, and I see it as learning an entirely new, valuable skill set. Okay. Well, you're supposed to be in Japan at the moment, but you're here in a studio. H how does that work? Yeah, well, yes, I was supposed to be in uh, Tokyo, uh, and I was supposed to be there until August, but due to the COVID-19 crisis, I had to return to the Netherlands earlier than expected. Almost everything in Japan was closed anyway, including the university, so courses were online. Fortunately, many of the professors are very accommodating and allow me to follow the courses from the Netherlands. Sometimes, though, that means I have to follow them in real time, mm -hmm. which means getting up at 2 or 3 in the morning due to the time difference. But, uh, you know, I'm happy I'm still able to continue the semester and get the credits, albeit a bit differently than imagined. Okay, thank you, Tondan. Thank you. Okay, sometimes people ask me what the difference is between the MOT program and a regular MBA. MOT was launched in response to a growing need to educate engineers in the area of management. At that time, traditional programs in the area of business and management education, such as MBA programs, were heavily critiqued. A common point of concern was the fact that educating managers for the sake of management does not seem to make much sense, especially since many work processes become more and more complicated and technology-based. It pays therefore off for a manager to be able to understand these technologies 
rather than just being a manager. In that sense, managers should not be dissociated from context and experience. Ideally, one should educate students who have either experience in management or who are rooted in a discipline. And especially high-tech companies have voiced the need for managers that are not only trained in general management principles, but also master the technology aspects of the business. The MOT program was designed on the basis of this need. MOT is a master program and should not be preceded by a bachelor in MOT or any other kind of business or management bachelor. Our students should come from an engineering discipline and the objective of the program is to teach them the various aspects of technology and innovation management that they may apply in their technical domain. Okay, well, Julia, do, do you agree? Yeah, I definitely agree. The MOT program really satisfied my need for a diversified and multidisciplinary education, um, but it also focused on innovation and technology, which is rare, if not absent, in American programs and traditional MBA routes. Um, therefore, I felt that MBA programs were not sufficient in uh, preparing en managers to face challenges with the increasing integration of technology in society. So I was really drawn to the MOT program because the courses prepare you with adopting different conceptual lenses in order to make judgments and decisions on how technology should be leveraged. Furthermore, the ability to have a specialization was a unique component of the MOT program, and that was not an option in MBA programs that I considered. All right, thank you. Well, as I, as I said before, eh, our students come from different technology domains, and the program offers our students the opportunity to learn from other disciplines. And, and from the start, uh, MOT has also been an international program of which at least 50% of our students eh, comes from abroad. Well, a diversity in both technical background and national culture offers students of MOT the opportunity to experience several aspects of technology and innovation management within an international context. Well, let me ask Tom then, uh, what is it like to study MOT from your perspective? Well, it's, it's actually as I uh, expected it to be, meaning the program corresponds to what I had heard and read about it beforehand. I'm enjoying it so far. It's very different from my mechanical engineering. It's no longer making endless practice questions and calculations, but a lot of reading and being able to understand the core and important points of text and papers. I, it took some getting used to for me during the first quarter, and I had to really learn how to study efficiently and differently than what I was used to. Uh, the lectures are interesting and up to date with current technologies, and the wide range of topics between classes allow you to learn a lot. There's lots of interaction with foreign students, I enjoy being able to have discussions with students from different cultural backgrounds who have a different view on things. Okay, thank you. And Julia, how about you? W what it's like to study MOT? Yeah, at first I, it took some adjustment to get used to the educational system. I never studied abroad, so exams and ways of studying differed drastically to what I was used to in the U.S. Um, however, given that our class is so diverse, many are also in the same position as me, so you learn and adapt really quickly together on how to succeed. Um, and everyone has a cultural or different cultural perspectives and technical backgrounds, and that is really useful in group projects. So you will be challenged by your peers and professors, but it's been a rewarding and great learning experience. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, thank you all for watching this video. And we hope that this will provide you with a good understanding of the nature of the MOT Master Programme. Well, the aim of Delft University of Technology, and the MOT Programme in particular, is to help our students to further develop their knowledge of technology and innovation management. At the same time, our students should not forget their roots, as the added value is their future ability to combine business with technology. You may find more detailed information on our website and we are also happy to interact with you in one of our online mastery events. Thank you.